Well, I'm back, and uh, it's because my eyes have been so off this last week, I just could not focus on anything. And they, uh, over the last couple of days, have uh, really improved quite a bit. <clears throat> and uh, I'm seeing a little bit better today, so I'm going to... Uh, work on him. I'm going to bring out his chest just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch to a half inch. Uh, it's a little too sunken and uh, so I'm going to do that. I don't think I'll need my magnifiers for that because that's going to be fairly simple to do. Uh, I can see the detail okay. It's when I get really in tight detail that it uh, starts to have a problem. So let's get started on that right now. I've taken the bill of his hat off because uh, I don't want to wreck it. And I've got it. Oh, there it is. I got it put aside so that I can uh, attach it back on when I'm ready to. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put it right there. I tell you, it's nice getting some of my vision back it really is uh, amazing how delicate our bodies are and how much we really have to take care of them because you don't miss something till you don't have it I'm going to lay down the sternum bone. That just establishes the uh, depth that I'm going to make the uh, chest a little bit more. Also gives me a connecting point for the uh, collarbone, which will show underneath the shirt. I have his neck just a little short and so I'm going to lengthen it a little bit real quick. Fill that in real quick.
Carrie liked wearing shirts that were a little bit big on them. And so the collar sticking out was typical of Terry Connor. everything I'm doing is going to have to meet with uh, Todd's approval but I'm sticking clay down in there in the vacant area so that it's easy to make a mold of and they can cast it for less than if they left a big hole but then they have to pull out of That's where the silicone tip tool comes in handy. I wish you could still get these damn things, but you can't. You can make your own, and if you search on YouTube, there are, there's always somebody that will show you how to make a silicone tool. And the materials you need to do it with. button right there on the uh, shirt. Buttonhole. There we go. Teresa down in Texas sent me this uh, little caliper. I love this thing. I gave a, a workshop down in Grapevine, Texas several years ago and she was using one of these and I said, man, I'd love to get one of those. And she sent me one. Thank you, Teresa. Let me tell you, this is strenuous. Because <laughs> you don't want to screw it up now. You want to have it all come out right.
looks good. There wouldn't be a lot of strain on the buttons because, uh, like I said, he liked roomy shirts. So I'm not going to put any stress on the, scene, on the uh, collar. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to put some wrinkles there. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this to. I'm going to. Be, I'm going to a dinner up in uh, Willow Creek, up north of here, and it's the first time that he hasn't been able to be there with us, celebrating our birthdays. My birthday's uh, Monday of next week. I'll be 73. He was well into his 70s. He's probably close to 80 when he passed away. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd take them and put them on the table with us. And so his spirit's there. That's going to be it for today, and I'll see you next time. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.